What's up guys, it's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to apply an alternative text to our images or WordPress media files, okay? So first of all, let me explain why you should know that and why you should do that. The very first reason that is the most important one is because of website accessibility because let's imagine that some people that can see try to load your site and need to use some software to read what is the image the image description the alt text helps a lot into the codes because the HTML codes gonna storage the alt text of your image and this is gonna make your website very easy for readers like this for example so the accessibility is one of the most important parts but the benefits of adding the alt text to our image or media does not stop that because we can apply an alt text in order to hang on google images so let me show you one example for example let's imagine that you are writing a post on your WordPress blog or creating a page maybe and you may want to apply some image to in order to make the post nicer and more attractable I'm gonna post about one of our WordPress themes so So let's imagine that we are writing a post about our Azer WordPress theme and we want to apply some image to this post to make the post more attractable, for example. So we're gonna click right here, go to media, image, I'm gonna upload or open the media library. I'm gonna be opening the media library and here is my image. I'm gonna apply it to the post. This image probably gonna have a title when you upload image onto a WordPress website. You probably have some title into this image that you can review in, into the media gallery, but you can simply rename the image file before uploading on WordPress and apply some title on it. Whoever, as you can review into the alt text, alternative text right here into the left side of our page editor we have empty an empty box because even if this image have some title it does not have the the alt text yet and what is this image title let's review in wordpress media library so if you go to your media library page where you, all the image that you upload goes you can see that this image title is Acer WordPress theme home but there's no alt text there's no caption there's no description for of this image we just do have this image and where does this page title came from because when you go to the post image upload or WordPress media library and add new we got the file from our computer and the file name is Acer WordPress theme so if we do try to upload this file into our WordPress website the file title gonna be exactly the same but Let's go back to the post. Here is our image. We're gonna need to upload an alt text in order to bring the benefits of the image SEO optimization and accessibility. So, what? can be our image alt text 
it needs to have normally for SEO the page keywords. However, it does not mean that the alt text can be the same as the main title, okay? So, let's imagine that you need to write a new title for the image, an alternative title. So, So, our media image title is Acer WordPress theme. However, our image alternative title of the same image is Acer WordPress theme homepage screenshot. As soon as you click out of this box, it automatically saves. I'm going to show you it on Media Library. You can update the post. Now, this image is ready to be indexed by Google Images and your site is accessibility friendly or a little bit more accessibility friendly. Let's go back to the WordPress media. While we think about the best alt title for this image and you think about the best alt title for your website image related to your page, your post, your page purpose, this image purpose in your page and the content on this image, let me ask you a question and please reply me into the comment section. Are you optimizing the image to appear on Google Images and hang on that? Or are you making your website image more accessibility friendly, for example? Please let me know into the comments, this is really important for the evolution of the web and I would like to know your feedback and how, you, how often do you use to optimize your images for SEO. Try to apply something related to your website content on Google and let me know if, if, if you go onto Google Images, some image of your site appears on it. And you may be surprised that some image may be appearing on it into the Google first page. So just write down into the comment section, okay? So back to the media library. Let me go to another image, the copy of this image with without the alt text. So if you use to upload the image uh, on media library for using in the feature, in the future, you can, for example, apply the alt text exactly right here into the media library, the gallery of your WordPress image. So when you try to use this image in any page or post, this image already has it out description. And you can see a little description for the alt text. And if you click on it, you're gonna be directed to this nice W3C website with a tutorial where you can learn more about usage and, uh, and styles, ideas, to properly write your alt text. This can be very useful in the case that you are using some page builder, for example, Elementor, WP Bakery, or Gutenberg, any kind of page builder, every single part where you can upload the image, you can apply the alt text on WordPress. Let me show you another example for example into the post featured image right here into the post have a look at the right side of options open the featured image click on it and as soon as you select the image you can see a field to apply to writing the alt text as soon as you write the new text you're gonna be able to see a message called it save it into the WordPress media preview, top screen, top right screen, and just upload the image into your featured field and the image already has its own alt text, okay? So no need to worry, no need to worry about page builder usage or any other kind of styles and you are good to go. So don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos like this because we bring SEO videos 
almost every week and we bring new videos almost every day so we are here to help don't forget to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question left and i did leave three links into the first comment on to the fix it on to this video for a cheap wordpress hosting where you can start with a free domain and build your site start your optimization your online presence you we have also added a link to a Cloudways host that is a host provider for more performance like for example for e-commerce stores or persons who try to sell the sell things into their websites and the final link is for creative market where in every single week you can download six new free assets like icons designs themes plugins and many more things and it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question and don't lost your time and start optimizing your images and i see you later all the best